Okay, uh, girls. <laughs> Your timing is impeccable on those belches. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. What? Do vampires scare you? No. no. They don't scare me and they never have. They're cool, though. Are I like cool? vampires, but they don't scare me. My favourite ever vampire movie is Let the Right One In. I've, n I've still never seen it. I saw You've the play. The... I saw the play, but I never saw the film. That's a horror film we all have to watch. When we're looking for a horror film, remind me, girls, that's the horror film to watch because it's set in a sort of Swedish country or somewhere. The only vampire films I've seen is... Um... Twilight. Oh, no. What's the one, the funny one? Oh, oh we did. That's the only vampire film. Oh, yeah, well, that, that is, a really that good is funny. That is really good, actually. But they're right for taking the piss out of because they do things like this. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Love at first bite. I've always thought comedy around vampires is better than any films that try to be deeply frightening with vampires because yeah, really, what's works the frightening bit with a vampire? It's this. They bite your neck. Mind you, they did scare me as a kid. I had a book that was under my did bed you? about vampires. That really scared me. And it scared me. Okay, let's list the many things that you have to use or do to kill a vampire. Garlic. Garlic. You need to smell of wood. garlic. Uh, a wooden stake. <laughs> cru cru yeah. Crucifix. As Crucifix. Uh, sunlight. Sunlight. Uh, and they have no what? <laughs> they have no what? Reflections. Oh yeah, yeah but that's, that's not how you kill them. <laughs> that's not how you kill them. But if you show them a reflection of themselves, you... they'd go, shit, where's my reflection? Then you get a wooden stake, hammer it through their chest, then you quickly cook up some spaghetti and garlic, serve it up to them in a wooden plate, turn it into a stake through the heart, and then you open the curtains to say, ha, hey, here's your garlic, here's your garlic pasta dish. Um, and here's the thing, when I was a kid, the three most frightening monsters were werewolves, vampires, and Frankenstein. Yeah. That was it, that was your lot. And ghouls. ghouls. You'd get ghouls. Werewolves scare me, actually. Do they? Because they rip you apart and that. Yeah. It's just like dogs, aren't they, really? Anyway, so Evil. the BBC and Netflix have co-produced a new Dracula, and they've dropped the trailer today. I know, my worry is always, as soon as you know the BBC are behind something like a <laughs> vampire film, it's going to be Doctor Who. Yeah. <laughs> That's always my worry. It's terrible, BBC. What's happened? Man up. You are, you, you are the reason these kids are here. You are, these are the products oh, yeah, of the BBC, literally. the BBC, me, the BBC production, right here. Otherwise me and Nadia wouldn't have met. Do so I'm hoping this is going to be more influenced by Netflix. So to be honest with you, Netflix aren't always a guarantee, are they? So this is Netflix, BBC, Vampire. It's obviously dropped today because it's the week of Halloween. So let's check it out. Boop. Is that it? Whoa. Oh, Jesus. Hang on a minute. <laughs> that actually looked pretty good. That looked really good. We kind of slated them and then we they We just delivered. slated them and I have to say, that nail. pulling a nail out is always a guarantee oh. of success and winning. No, but what about the, the fly? Well, the fly, what about the fly going in the eyeball? eyeball? It was like Jim Carrey gone mad. <laughs> what do you think? I, I think it looks pretty good actually. Are we yeah. going to watch it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll give it a go. Whatever. Bloody hell, BBC Netflix, you just completely wrong-footed us. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, and I have to say, he had such bloodshot eyes. I related to him there, because he looked like I used to feel whenever I drunk too much. It's like he's got Bloody Mary coming out of his eyeballs. <laughs> and he like his voice. No, I know. And he looked yeah, a little bit like an man. insurance salesman, didn't he? They always but do, though, vampires. It looks it was a lot better than I thought. A lot, better, a lot better. A lot better. Thanks, BBC Netflix. Maybe this is a marriage made in heaven. Why do we always do that at the end? It's so odd, isn't it? 